Hi, friends. I'm going to read you a biography about Martin Luther King Jr. A biography is a book written about someone's life. This is called Young Martin Luther King Jr. I Have a Dream. This book was written in 1992 or published in 1992. Martin Luther King Jr. was a great American he led the black people in their struggle to win the same rights that white people have. Up here it says, end segregation, voting rights now, equal rights, jobs for all now. Martin Luther King Jr. was born in Atlanta, Georgia on January 15, 1929. His family called him M.L. The King family spent a lot of time in church. Reverend King, his father, was the pastor of Ebenezer Baptist Church. M.L. loved to sit and listen to his father preach. M.L. loved sports, too. He and his friends played football, baseball, and basketball. ML was one of the best players. See him doing a big, big basket right there. One day when ML was six years old, which is about the time kids started school, his friend's mother told him he could not play with their sons anymore. We're white and you're colored, she said. She looks a little meanish. ML went home crying. He didn't understand why the color of his skin would make a difference to anyone. His mother gave him a hug and then she told him a story. ML's mother told him that at one time many black people in America were slaves. They had to work hard for white families and do whatever they were told or they'd get hurt, you see. Now there were no more slaves, but some white people still treated blacks unfairly. You are just as good as anyone else, ML's mother told him, and don't you forget it. She'd give him a big hug. As Martin grew older, he learned that there were many bad laws that treated blacks unfairly. This coffee shop says, Whites only. You can see it's like, I would be mad too. Black children and white children had to go to different schools. There were playgrounds, restaurants, and hotels where only white people could go. In stores, blacks had to stand in the back and wait until all the white customers had been helped first. How frustrating that had to be. These laws made Martin very sad. He wanted to do something to change the, the laws. He studied hard in school. He read all the time. Sometimes he'd spend his whole allowance on books. Martin finished high school when he was only 15 years old. Most people are like 18. Then he went to Morehouse College in Atlanta. While he was there, Martin decided he would be a minister just like his father. But he also thought about being a doctor or a lawyer, I once read. He was that smart. He could have picked anything. Later, Martin went to school in Boston. There he met a girl named Coretta Scott. They fell in love. Soon she became Mrs. King. In 1954, Martin got his first job as a pastor in Montgomery, Alabama. Something important was about to happen there. Cute little wedding picture. In 1955, it seems like a really long time ago if you're a kid, but it wasn't that long ago. A black woman named Rosa Parks was riding the bus home after a long day at work. When the bus driver told her to give up her seat to a white man, Mrs. Parks said no. She was arrested and put in jail.
The black people in Montgomery were very angry. They decided not to ride the buses until the law was changed. Martin helped lead this protest. For almost a year, black people walked or shared car rides with friends. The bus company lost a lot of money. Finally, the law was changed. Black people could sit wherever they wanted. After that, Martin led protests all over the south of the United States. Many times people were hurt. Sometimes Martin was arrested. No matter what happened, Martin always said, love your enemies. He would not use violence as a weapon. He believed in peace, even though people were being violent with him. In 1963, Martin spoke to a huge group of people in Washington, D.C. I have a dream, he told them. He dreamed that someday all Americans would be treated equally. In 1964, Martin won an important award called the Nobel Peace Prize. It showed the whole wor that the whole world admired his efforts for peace and freedom. Mar yeah. Martin Luther King Jr. had helped change many unfair laws, and he showed all Americans how important it is to love and respect each other. And that's why we celebrate his birthday every January. Hmm, what things can you do to make the world a better place?